Hey, welcome back to DIY with Max. Thank you for checking out another one of my videos. In today's video, we're going to go over how to remove baseboard molding. Let's get started. You will need some basic tools, a medium crowbar, 12 inch putty knife, a small hammer, and a retractable razor blade. First thing you want to do after pulling up your pants is get rid of anything that will be in your way. In my case, it's the doorstop. Begin by scoring the caulk on top of the molding along the wall with the razor blade. If you don't, you will most likely be watching one of my videos about repairing tear out and sheetrock, card in the top right corner. Then insert the 12 inch putty knife behind the molding by sliding it along the wall. Grab the crowbar and insert it in between the molding and the putty knife. Use the hammer to encourage the crowbar whenever needed. If you don't use something to spread the pressure from the crowbar, you'll be watching yet another one of my videos on how to patch a large hole in the sheetrock, card in the top right corner. Use the crowbar to pry the molding from the wall. Once you get the molding off the wall, make sure you bend all the nails down so that no one gets injured. Keep working around the room in three to four feet sections and you will have great success. After you remove all the molding, go back to the beginning and remove any nails left behind to prep the area for molding replacement. You will also most likely have some caulk bead left on the wall. Use the putty knife to remove it. It worked well for me. If you are eager to get started on your molding removal, pause here and go for it. But if you want to reuse the molding you remove, then stick around till the end to see what you should do different to minimize your chances of breaking planks and make your experience easier than mine. The first thing I would do different is to remove anything that is in my way before starting molding removal. What I mean is things like door stops, air vents, old phone jacks, coax cables, etc. Also, if you're removing molding because you want to install new flooring, go ahead and remove the carpet if it's interfering with your molding removal. The second thing I would do different is to score the caulk on top of the molding along the perimeter of the entire room with the razor blade instead of working in the three foot section. I think it would save a lot of time over stopping every few feet and switching tools. In our case, we decided early on that we will be replacing the molding. So it didn't matter if the few pieces got broken or damaged. But if you're trying to reuse the molding you're removing, then number three is very important. Instead of starting with the longest wall like I did, you would start with the outside corner of the shortest piece. This will free up one of the edges so it will be easier to remove the pieces of molding as a whole without damaging them. Also, instead of working in three foot sections like I did with long pieces, you'll want to loosen the molding along the entire wall with the putty knife and the crowbar, but don't try to pry the molding completely away until the whole piece is loose. That's all I got for today. If any of you have more helpful suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. If you loved it, then just go ahead and subscribe now. We have plenty more where these came from. See you in the next one.